age. With the introduction of the CT scanner and MRI, cancer tissue of only a few millimeters in diameter can be detected in its early stages. However, these high-tech medical tests are not only expensive, escalating the cost of medical care, they are sometimes harmful or painful to the patient. But there is a new, more simple, non-invasive, safe, reliable and very economical method of diagnosis available. It's called the bi-digital O-ring test and can provide much useful diagnostic information. Well, I cough a lot. You cough, uh huh? Hey. My chest gets tight. Uh huh. And I hear a high-pitched sound in the back of my head. Please move back about 20 centimeters. First, I'll check your bronchial tube. There's nothing wrong there. Now the right lung. You have very strong abnormality here. Now the left lung. You have no problem with your left lung. This is the bi-digital O-ring test which allows abnormalities in the body to be found by seeing if the ring made with two fingers can be pulled open or not and by noticing the degree of opening. Since the discovery in 1977 of the bi-digital O-ring test by Professor Omura, much research has been done and considerable information behind the mechanism of the test is now known. If this method becomes established, not only can the diagnosis of difficult medical problems be made, but also optimal treatment including effective medication and dosage can be determined. In Japan, many physicians and dentists are already being trained in this method. In 1990, the Japan by digital O-ring test medical society was established. This group holds annual symposiums at Tokyo University. In addition, they hold an international symposium every two years. By seeing if the O-ring made by two fingers opens or not, any abnormality in the internal organs can be detected without the use of high-tech machinery. This method was developed by Professor Yoshiaki Omura, a Japanese-American physician trained at Columbia University Medical Center and director of medical research at the Heart Disease Research Foundation in New York City. It has begun to receive attention in many parts of the world. In Finland, the Ukraine, Yugoslavia and Venezuela, the bi-digital O-ring test has been incorporated into the medical school curriculum. In Japan, more than 10,000 physicians, dentists and acupuncturists participated in Professor Omura's seminars. And as a result, many doctors in different hospitals have begun to compare the results of the O-ring test with standard laboratory tests. St. Mary's Hospital of Kurume City, the second largest and model hospital in Japan, is one of many research sites to compare the O-ring test with lab tests. This is Dr. Shimotsura, Director of Medicine at St. Mary's Hospital, who was conducting the examination earlier. How do you use this to diagnose an illness? Well, as we just showed, we choose which fingers to use by trying to pull them open. Then, we confirm that they won't open by touching a normal part of your body. For example, the head? Yes, we will examine the head. Is that bamboo? Yes, it is. We use a non-conducting rod in this direct method. They won't open. So, there's nothing wrong with my head? Yes, that's right. Now the bronchial tube. They won't open? No, they won't open. So, there's nothing wrong there either? That's right. Now let's try the heart. I wonder what that's like. What? They open. They open, didn't they? So there is something wrong with my heart. That's a possibility. But there's quite a difference between when they open and when they don't. There is a difference, even though I'm applying the same pressure all the time. Yes, there is. Even though he's wearing clothes, the results are still very clear. Therefore, in the control, we choose the fingers to use or the results will differ. With prepared specimens of various pathogenic bacteria or monoclonal antibodies of various viruses, tests can be conducted on the patient and the type of causative pathogenic microorganism can be identified. Dr. Omura discovered that by holding a prepared specimen of a type of normal body tissue, the outline of the internal organs can be mapped out on the body surface by using the bi-digital O-ring test. This is a patient's stomach that was mapped out using the O-ring test. A piece of copper wire is placed along the outline of the mapped stomach. 
This is the x-ray of that patient's stomach, as we just saw it. It's hard to see if you're not a specialist, but apparently the metal wire is in just about the same position as the stomach shown on the x-ray film. What you have just seen demonstrate was the application of resonance phenomena between two identical substances to map internal organs without using... This patient, a 76-year-old female, came to hospital complaining of a lack of appetite and fatigue. The O-ring test showed that there is an abnormality in her stomach. First, her stomach is mapped out. Then, further O-ring tests will determine the kind of illness and its location. I think this here is the abnormal spot. What can you tell from the results of this patient? By holding the prepared specimen of stomach cancer tissue, we looked for the spot that would react to it using aluminium foil. Since there was only one spot about the size of the point of the rod within the reaction area, I seem to think that the abnormality is quite small. They found the abnormal spot, but are not sure yet whether it is cancer or not. When we placed it near the cancer, we found the red area. You can see it is less than five millimeters in diameter. This is an image showing the whole stomach. The illness is in the area which is surrounded by the black dots. This is the cancer just above the center. In this case, if we compare the two tests, the locations are roughly the same. Incidentally, even though the cancer is so small, apparently can be detected with very high accuracy. In the case that there is an abnormality in the body, if the skin near it is touched, there is a loss of muscle strength in the extremities. This has, in fact, been confirmed in animal experiments by Professor Takeshige, Dean of the Medical School of Showa University. A rabbit with a duodenal ulcer is made to move his paw by electrical stimulation of the motor cortex of the brain. Next, an electromyogram EMG is used to see whether there is a drop in muscle strength in the paw when the skin near the duodenal ulcer is pinched. These are the results. The white areas are formed by the disappearance of the EMG action potential that occurred when the skin above the pathological area was pinched. This shows that there was a drop in the rabbit's muscle strength in the paw. Used as a method of diagnosis, the O-ring test can be used to tell which medicines would be effective in treating diseases and what the optimal dosage for each individual patient is. This time we put this medicine in the patient's hand while she points to the infected ear. The O-ring is strengthened and no longer opens. That is to say, effective medicines increase the strength of the fingers forming the O-ring, overcoming the weakening influence of the pathological area. If we check other medicines, we can decide which medicine is the most suitable for this patient by noticing the relative strengthening of the weakest finger. As a new method of diagnosis for the 21st century, the biodigital O-ring test is attracting much attention in many parts of the world. Other than being used as a method of diagnosis and in the selection of effective medicines, the O-ring test is also showing unexpectedly promising results in the treatment of many intractable diseases with or without known causes. If it becomes widely accepted, it will probably cause a revolution in the medical world. It could help patients and those who provide medical services reduce their escalating medical costs and avoid the discomforts and side effects of high technology diagnostic and treatment procedures which would be used selectively when the non-invasive O-ring test indicates them to be necessary. We can look forward to the bi-digital O-ring test's wider use, based on the results of scientific research at many hospitals and to its being taught in medical schools around the world.